Hey, how you guys doing? Pastor Mark here at Lifeline Church, and I'm here to give you your weekly mentoring tip. So I was reading in Mark chapter 10 the other day, and the Lord hit me with this, and I just want to share it with you. It's about our faith, okay? So Mark chapter 10, verses 13 through 16, I'm going to read. It's titled, The Little Children and Jesus. People were bringing little children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said to them, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly I tell you, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. And he took the children in his arms, placed his hands on them, and blessed them. Pretty self-explanatory, right? Well, I'd like to share with you a little twist that the Lord laid on my heart through this. I think uh, it'll make sense for you. So it's a beautiful thing to see people ask Jesus into their lives and accept his free gift of salvation. So we can kind of compare these new believers as children, like the ones we just read in this passage. Now, this isn't meant to sound demeaning, calling new believers children. In fact, as we are born again into this new life, we can even be referred to as infants. So check out what I found in 1 Peter. Love one another deeply from the heart, for you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable, through the living and enduring word of God. And then just a couple scriptures later, it says, Like newborn babies crave pure spiritual milk, so that by it, you may grow up in your salvation now that you have tasted that the Lord is good. So we're brand new Christians, right? We're kind of like infants. And what do infants eat? They eat milk. And the milk is so nutritious and it gives them everything they need to grow up healthy and strong. And as we get older, we're able to feed, or as the baby gets older, we're able to feed that baby more and more things so it can continue to grow up healthy and strong. So what's my point? Let's go back to that last scripture. It says, So that by it you may grow up in your salvation. So we know that as we continue on in our walk with the Lord, we need to grow up in our salvation. But I think it's really important, no matter how long we've been serving God, that we never ever lose our childlike faith. The childlike faith in the God that saved us. The simple trust that God formed in our hearts when we first believed. And also, I think it's important that we not discount what other new believers feel like God is saying to them. We shouldn't be quick to write off it as just uh, an excited new believer or they don't know what they're talking about. They're, they're so brand new. In fact, I think we should be listening carefully and seeing what God is saying to them and seeing how they can encourage us. And then at the same time, we can encourage them and build them up. Didn't Jesus say, let the children come to me, do not hinder them? Now we might have good intentions trying to reel them back in into like a rational faith, but we should be stoking that fresh flame. We should be stoking that fresh excitement. And we could let their fire and their excitement reinvigorate our faith that may have become too calculated or too safe. We can't, let our, we can't let our past experiences or our failures cause us to doubt God and make our faith small. I love to hear people tell me their story of salvation and being born again into this Christ follower life. The way they describe their experience is so pure because they really, know, they really don't have any frame of reference to compare it to. And, and they, all they know is that something happened to them, right? All they really know is that something has changed in their heart and it's caused them to make a decision in their mind to follow Jesus Christ. Now that's childlike faith. And that is how Jesus says our faith should be. And when we join that faith with time in His Word, time in prayer, time in worship, and being connected to a healthy church, now that's a recipe for success. I want to close with this. If we go back to 
Mark chapter 10, verse 16, it says, And he took the children in his arms, placed his hands on them, and blessed them. We are the hands and feet of Jesus, and we can do just as Jesus did. We can take these young believers in and bless them. All believers, young and old, have the Holy Spirit of God living inside of them. And He loves to use us when we have a willing heart and childlike faith. I hope this blessed you guys. Let me pray for you. Dear God, help us to receive the kingdom like a little child. And help us to chase after every good thing that you have for us, Lord. We love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys. Take care.